from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Alan Crone. Yeah, congratulations on that. You know, they kind of had that up and down uh, little little journey there, and uh, the finished with a big win, so we're excited about that. 80 today, a sunshine cloud mix. We are going to have some scattered shower and storm opportunities coming up, especially in the southern areas. You'll have a much higher chance initially than we'll have here in the northern areas. We'll have a north wind today. It's cool this morning. We're going to do temperatures very quickly first. You step outside, you're going to go, this is spectacular. It's in the 60s. Uh, 10 o'clock, 70. The noon hour only at 74, and our high today is going to be close to 80. So some of our neighbors will stay in the upper 70s all afternoon. We'll be in the 70s tonight between 7 and 8 and 9 o'clock. Now, let me show you the radar. This is something we're going to have to watch this morning, especially in the southern areas. Storms near Oklahoma City, they're moving east. They should start to drop a little bit south and east. And you see all those counties that are popping up there? That's a severe thunderstorm watch. Yeah, you can't have a severe thunderstorm watch in the morning. We've got one underway now from Oklahoma City to Norman Purcell. There could be additional counties added across southern Oklahoma as the morning progresses. Some of those storms will produce some hail. And you can see that severe thunderstorm watch goes all the way back into the high plains of Texas. So what does this all mean here? Well, the probability for severe weather is basically just a little bit south, southwest of Tulsa. You know, it's close. The more significant severe weather will occur later today along the Red River into the north central Texas area. So here's a little closer look. Again, if you're watching from Oklahoma, uh, Okima, McAllister, Wilburton, you do have a chance for strong, severe storms in this system today, it's even this morning. Uh, the probability for a shower in Tulsa is still pretty low this morning with a slight chance, but just a little bit south. You see those two darker shades of green showers and storms are going to be likely. We think that will be across Pittsburgh and Latimer, Floor County here this morning. And even this afternoon, we'll have a few more scattered showers and storms near the I-40 area, more likely across southern Oklahoma, and then a slight chance here in the northern areas. And then overnight and Tuesday morning, those two darker shades of green. Now, this will include the Tulsa Metro. So overnight, pre-dawn, tomorrow, showers and storms nearby, especially in the southern sections. And some of those could end up being strong to severe. This is Tuesday's severe weather risk assessment. Again, more likely the severe weather threats on Tuesday they will also extend mostly to the south of Tulsa, but from I-40 southward, including again the Pittsburgh, Latimer, LaFleur County area, where most of the showers and storms will end up again on Tuesday. So lots of timeline information coming at you here. 10, noon, 2 o'clock today, Tulsa, 20% chance. And then it will start to come up a little bit more through the early afternoon, and we'll go to a better chance later tonight. Now, even though our severe weather threats here in the metro are pretty low, it's a lot different across the far southern areas of the state. And then Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we are going to watch for a storm complex Friday morning, but then slightly above normal temperatures, on Wednesday, and then we go into some pretty toasty weather for the second half of the week. So high today near 80. We'll track some scattered showers and storms off and on. Tonight is a much higher probability. Tomorrow morning early, some showers and storms near and south of us. Wednesday at 88, 91 on Thursday, 93 on Friday. Storm complex will be near the area early Friday morning. Look what the weekend brings to us. Morning lows in the 70s. High Saturday, 94, and 96 on Sunday. If you like a little May weather in June, you need to get out today and enjoy it. All right. Will do. Thank you, Alan.